Socialist Realism in Poland Socialist Realism in Poland Polish Sok Realism was a social, political, and aesthetic doctrine enforced by the pro-Soviet communist government in the process of Stalinization of the post-war People's Republic of Poland. The official policy was introduced in 1949 by a decree of the Polish United Workers' Party minister later, Minister of Culture and Art W. Lodzimierz Sikorski. As in all Soviet-dominated Eastern Bloc countries, socialist realism became the main instrument of political control in the building of totalitarianism. However, the trend has never become truly dominant. Following Stalin's death on March 5, 1953, and the subsequent de-Stalinization of all people's republics, Polish artists, writers and architects started abandoning it around 1955. The de-Stalinization process peaked during the Polish October. History The policy was enforced in Poland between 1949 and 1956, amidst the wave of human rights abuses committed by the state security forces. It involved all domains of cultural politics including visual, music, and literary arts, though its most spectacular achievements were made in the field of architecture. The objectives of this new trend were explained in a 1949 resolution of the National Council of Party Architects. Architecture was declared a key weapon in the creation of a new social order. It was intended to help spread the communist ideology by influencing citizens' consciousness as well as their outlook on life. During this massive undertaking, a crucial role fell to designers perceived not as merely architects creating streets and edifices, but rather as engineers of the human soul. The idea extended beyond aesthetics and into principles of urban design meant to express grandiose expectations and arouse feelings of stability and political power monopoly in Stalinist Poland. Local Characteristics Painting and Sculpture Socialist realism in Polish art was confined to portraits of party leaders and various depictions of muscular laborers and battle scenes, with special attention paid to popular taste. Formally inspired by neoclassicism as well as the local folk art, Sok realism served strictly political and pro-Soviet propaganda purposes, however, its most notable artists, such as Wad Sychewais and W. Lodzimir Zakazewski, were educated before Stalinism and inadvertently adhered to traditional Western techniques and technologies. Some of the most blatantly Sok realist paintings were Pass on the Brick Pottage Segel pictured here, by Alexander Kobzdej and Thank You Tractor, Operator Podzi County Tractors is pictured here, as well as Comrade Birut Among Laborers Torzis Birut W.S. Rod Robotnikow by Helena and Julius Krajewski. In sculpture, there was a trend toward stone-carved allegories elevating the common worker, used mainly for architectural purposes, such as those surrounding the Palace of Culture and Science in Warsaw, including mostly plaster busts of communist apparatchiks. The collection of Polish socrealist sculpture is exhibited at Kozloka Palace near Lubarto. Film and Music While the socialist realism doctrine in Soviet cinema originated around the time of the Bolshevik Revolution, Eisenstein, Devjenko, Pudovkin, and reached its peak in the 1930s, it did not have sufficient time to develop in post-war Poland. Therefore, the cult of the Communist Party remained alien to the local film industry. Among the more creative Polish films loosely adhering to principles of socialist realism were Celluloza by Jerzy Kolroiks, Pakolny by Andrzej Wedzda, and Pajkizy Ulysi Barskiej by Alexander Ford. The ideological stereotype gave birth to some inferior productions as well, such as Uxta Baltazara by Jerzy Zarzyki and Jerzy Passendorfer. In music, the trend was limited to art song, film soundtrack, and pop song based on local folk tradition. Communist ideals were glorified in lyrics. Among the prominent composers were Jan Maklakiewicz, Slask Prakuj I Spiewa Silesia Works and Sings, Alfred Gradstein, Na Prao Most, Na Luo Most A Bridge on the Right, and A Bridge on the Left, and Endezej Panifnik, Symphonia Palkaju, The Symphony to Peace.
Widely promoted popular songs included O Noage to Husi Piosinka this song. The song is still well remembered by most Polish people of the older generation. Following Stalin's death, and especially from 1953 on, critical opinions were heard with increasing frequency. Finally, as part of the Gomelka political thaw from within the Polish United Workers' Party, the entire doctrine was officially given up in 1956.